Savage Finance. Because it's a jungle out there that wants your money. Here I will teach you how to manage the jungle and make it out. In this video, I'm gonna talk about five money beliefs that hold you back and keep you from getting wealthy. It's very important that you listen to this because you may find out that you have one, if not all of these beliefs, and they're very powerful for limiting your development of wealth. If this is your first time here, what I want you to do is to go to the front of the channel and toggle that video button and begin watching older videos up until now so you can become financially literate. All right, let's get into it. What are these beliefs that keep you from making money? The number one belief that keeps you from developing wealth is a fear of money. That's correct. It's a fear of making money. Look at what happens to lottery winners, what happens to NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball players. They come out of college and they have all of this money and they go crazy and at the end of their careers, they don't have any money. It is this fear. One of the things that I love to do is read when someone wins the lottery and the craziness that goes through. First of all, they don't even want to take the ticket to cash it in because they're afraid of what people are going to say. People are going to come after them. People are going to, they're literally terrified and they'll wait six months to eight months to claim their lottery winnings while they go out and hire an attorney and hire an accountant because they don't know anything about money. And this fear is massive. And this fear will keep you from developing wealth because you are afraid of money and what money represents and what money will do to your life. And how does one get over this fear? Understand, money is just a tool. It's not power, it's not magic, it's not a god. Money is just a tool to facilitate you getting what you want out of this life and making your way in life. That's all money is, it's just a mere tool. So. This is hands down one of the biggest fears because when people fear money, they start making up false narratives. They start thinking like, well, all rich people are evil. Therefore, they train their subconscious mind not to make them wealthy because they feel that all wealthy people are evil. And therefore, I'm not evil, so therefore I will not be wealthy. The fear manifests itself in so many crazy, crazy ways. The number two belief that keeps people from developing wealth is getting on the struggle bus. That's right. You, and this is closely related to belief number one, but it's an entirely different belief because there are many people who believe there is nobility in poverty. There is nobility in being an average hardworking man. There is pride, there's self-esteem and going to work every day. Now getting on the struggle bus is not to be misconstrued with poverty. Getting on a struggle bus is something you do intentionally because you are really unsure about money. So you go out and get a job. Like this is one of the things that happens to, let's say your name is John. John, you're, you're dating Julie and you and Julie are having relations and Julie gets pregnant. You drop out of college to get a job because that's the right thing to do. And you automatically step onto the struggle bus. And this kills your economic prospects for decades because you willingly got on the struggle bus. And this is one of the most pernicious beliefs that kills so many people because understand, you got responsibilities, you're an adult, you're supposed to take care of yourself. But there are strategies to where you can facilitate that in a much better way. One of the last things you wanna do is to get on the struggle bus and create that life of perpetual struggle. This kind of goes back to one of the other videos about the five financial mistakes. And number one is people do not pay attention to their career. They just go out and get a job and they work and the next thing you know, they're 65 and they're like, what happened? Don't get on the struggle bus. This is the third financial belief that cripples people. 
and it is crazy. It is money is not that important. Whenever you're an entrepreneur and you are a hustler and you're out trying to make money and you have regular friends, you will find out very quickly that having conversations about making money are frowned upon. They don't want to talk about it. They think that you're money grubbing. They think that you're just out. The only thing you care about money, which is not true, but they do not think that money is important. I forget the phrase how it goes exactly, but money ranks up there in a, with oxygen in its importance. But many people don't treat it like that. I don't want to be a money grubber. I don't want to be a salesperson. I don't want to make any money because to them, money is secondary to their happiness. It is secondary to family. It is secondary to personal pursuits. It's secondary. And here's the thing, if they truly understood how important money, money is very, very important. Like I said, I don't know how the saying goes, but it ranks up there with oxygen. And if you treated money as if it was important, your money would behave differently. And there are many, many people out there who just treat money as if it's immaterial, it doesn't matter, it's not necessary, we don't need to have these conversations, we don't need to build a business, we don't need to serve our fellow man, because money ain't important at the grand scheme of the thing. And you have these people out here who have a combination. They're on the struggle bus and they don't believe money's important. And they have a fear of money. Essentially, if you have two to five of these fears, your financial life is going to be jacked. It's, it is because, you know, let's go back to the struggle bus conversation. Getting a job is not a bad thing. Getting any job without a plan on how it's going to escalate and how you're going to make more money is one of the worst things you can do in life. And every day, millions of people do just that. And like I said, next thing you know, they 65, they 70, and they're like, what happened? Life will pass you by if you do not treat money as if it's important. And many people don't feel that money is important. Many people just go out, get money, live their lives, become indoctrinated in the American credit indoctrination syndrome, start using credit, financing cars, doing all of these things because money ain't important. And next thing you know, they're trapped. They're buried by their financial decisions and they're like, what happened? And also there are so many people who are doing this that they don't have to look very far to see someone doing exactly the same dumb things that they're doing. So it, it's, it's like, well, I'm not really dissimilar from my neighbor. I'm not dissimilar from my uncle. I'm not dissimilar from my parents. So they don't really see it being a big problem that it is. This is money belief number four and it is pretty prevalent upon the lower economic stratus. One day, the money will come. There are many people that felt they was chosen by God, a child of Jesus Christ, that God or some mysterious force is gonna provide and it's gonna come with money when they need it. They don't have to do anything. They don't have to plan. It's just gonna show up. They're gonna win the lottery and solve all their problems. One day, the money's just gonna show up. I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know where, but one day this money is going to show up. This money is going to pop out of nowhere. This money is going to be so prevalent in my life. It's just going to majestically, mythically, majest magically just appear out of nowhere. It's just going to come. There are many, many people who believe this. Do you know that many people who believe the lottery honestly feel and have a deeply convicted belief that they're going to win one day. It's just going to show up. It's, it's just going to happen because they, they were chosen. It's just going to happen. Money belief number five, a lackadaisical attitude toward money. And it's not to be confused with money's not important. If money's there, cool. Money's not there, cool. It's all cool. There is no prime directive to get more money in your life. None whatsoever. It's just, eh. I got money, eh, I don't have money. There, there are people who embody these beliefs and there are some people who have all five beliefs. They have a fear of money, they're on the struggle bus, money's not important, they have a lackadaisical attitude toward money 
and they also somewhere deep, 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 deep inside, it's just gonna show up. Here's the thing, and this is how you defeat your bad money beliefs. What I want you to do is sit down, take out a sheet of paper, get yourself a pen and pencil, and write down all of your debts. Everything that you owe, write it down. Cause this is gonna wake you up. Because once you see that number, whatever that number is, it's going to force you to have a reckoning. Oh my God, I'm in $75,000 worth of debt and only make $25,000 a year. It could be a panic moment when you realize that you have a negative net worth. Now, the second part of this exercise, once you have been slapped awake, is to sit down and to go ahead and get 30 days to 2,500, this course below, it's a free course that teaches you how to make money. And then take your list, because your list shouldn't scare you. It shouldn't motivate you. It should motivate you to do better. It should motivate you to go ahead and get your act together. Get 30 days to 2,500 and begin building up additional income. Because I have a video talking about the fastest way to get out of debt. The fastest way to get out of debt is to create more income. So you're gonna take 30 days to 2,500, you're gonna get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success, you're gonna get that, and you're gonna take those two tools and you're gonna get to work. Because money is important. And also, if you have any of these money beliefs, you need to get rid of them at ASAP. You need to let them go. Because the reality is, money ain't gonna just show up having fear of money because you're uneducated. And see, this is why I want you guys to go through the channel and begin watching all the videos so you become educated. So once you start to know how money works, it's less scary. Because there are people out there who are terrified. If they were to win the lottery, these folks would be on the verge of committing suicide because they're so scared of that money. This fear is real. And then the people who don't feel that money is important because there's a combination, because there are many people who have a combination of these five beliefs and they're killing your financial future. So now that you've written down your goals, you've written down what your debts are, you've downloaded the courses, now you're getting busy. Now I want you to write down that you're going to keep your job, you're not quitting your job if you still have one, and then you're going to say, I'm gonna, I want this to be written, I'm gonna take my additional hustlers kung fu money and I'm gonna start paying down these debts as fast as possible. Have it written down. And also write, I'm gonna start me a side business or a side hustle that makes me $500 to $1,500 per month. Just start there. And I'm going to generate this income by serving my fellow man, okay? So you do all of that. And now you kinda of have a roadmap on how to get out of this mess and how to change your financial beliefs because I'm telling you, there's so many people who have these financial beliefs. The one that just drives me crazy is money just gonna show up out of nowhere. Money just gonna come. Jesus Christ is gonna bless me. I'm a child of God. I was chosen. You know, there are people who have this money belief that will go to their grave believing that. The night before they pass on, this belief will be alive and well in their cortex. And no money has shown up. None whatsoever. None, not even a penny, not even a dime, not even a quarter. And they all hold on to this belief. Money is important. And once you begin to treat money as if it's important, good things will start to happen because you will handle your money better. And also, you, you have to pay for this one. I have a money management course that will literally change your financial life. You will always have money. Once you go through the money management course, you will always have money. You will never be broke again. If you go through the course, follow the directives and do exactly what I tell you, you will never be broke again. You will never be afraid of, it's the first of the month. You'll never have these fears again because money is a tool and tools behave to the use of the tool goes up to the user experience level. So the more experience you have with money, the better that you're gonna use the tool. And there are so many people out there who need to go through this course. I mean, because I keep pumping it out and I keep pushing it. And a lot of people are like, eh, I really need that. Let me tell you how I know you need the money management course. 
You have a car payment. You have credit card debt. You're using your debit card for purchases versus a rewards credit card. That right there tells me you need the money management course. Because after you go through the money management course, you're not going to have a car note. You're going to put away that piece of trash debit card. You're going to be debt free. See, this is where we're going. This is what we're going to do. We're going to build together. We're going to make this money together. Because as long as you're out there with these five felonious beliefs, it will cripple your financial life for decades. Right now, right now, there is someone who is 50 to 60 years old working at McDonald's. And this isn't to shame this person because they're doing the best that they can, but do you want to be 50, 60 years old working at McDonald's? Because if you are in possession of these five beliefs about money, that could be up your alley. That could be coming for you. That could be your economic reality. So go ahead, watch this video five times so you get it all and let's start getting rid of these bad money beliefs and start building some wealth. With that, there's another video right there for you. Check it out, check it out.